Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew with Rip Rack. This is what Rip Rack looks like. It comes in different widths, many different colours. You can buy it by the yard or by the metre and you use it as a form of trimming on your garments. My advice would be when sewing Rip Rack is to give yourself a guideline in which to place the Rip Rack onto. This enables you to keep your rip rack straight as you sew. Place your rip rack onto the guideline, but make sure that guideline is covered and place just one pin just to help guide you as you sew. You don't need to pin all the way along because you've got your guideline and that will enable you to keep your rip rack straight as you sew. Before we take our work to the sewing machine, I'm going to give you a quick little tip. In order to get our straight stitching along the centre of the rip rack, we need to focus on the inner curves here. The reason why is that will enable you to get a straighter stitch as you sew, and I'll show you that on the sewing machine. Now I've now placed my foot down onto the rip rack and I can see a little bit of my fabric, which you need to see, which is going to be the inner curve here. So I'm going to just test to make sure I'm happy with that. Yes, I am. And then remember, just keep focused on the actual inner curve and place your braiding in position along your guideline. Just go slowly, just make sure that you keep it on your guideline and just follow through with your stitching, making sure that you are sewing and catching your braiding. And there you have your straight stitching straight through the middle of your rip rack. Once you know how to sew a rip rack, it's a great trim that you can add to any sewing project. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.